this video we will be talking about the digestive system of earthworm. Earthworms have a very well developed elementary canal and it is a tubular canal. That means all complete structures are in the form of tube. So when we draw this, we have to remember in which segments, which structure is present and then we'll talk about the functions of it. So if we draw this earthworm, as we have talked of, that the mouth is present in the first segment. So this segment which we are drawing, this is the first segment. So here there is this opening which is called mouth. So first segment has mouth. Mouth leads into a space which is called the buccal cavity. So here simultaneously we will keep writing that which structure is present in which segment. So mouth is present in the first segment which is known as peristomium. The first segment was called peristomium. And we have also seen that there is a structure which hangs in front of the first segment. That is prostomium. So mouth is in the first segment. And this solar part which we have drawn is the buccal cavity. So buccal cavity is present from the first that is from the point where there is mouth to third segment. So first to third is the buccal cavity. So this opening is mouth and this structure is buccal cavity. From the buccal cavity the food is pushed into a wider structure which is called pharynx. So from here there is this wider part which is the pharynx. Pharynx Pharynx is present in third and fourth segment. So this is the second segment and in the third, the buccal cavity is going to end. So third and fourth segment, these are going to have the pharyngeal part. Now around the pharynx is present or rather are present glands. These glands are known as pharyngeal glands. Pharyngeal glands. Pharyngeal glands secrete two things, mucin and proteolytic enzymes. Mucin is going to lubricate the food for lubrication and proteolytic enzyme is to digest proteins. So up till now we are somewhere around end of the fourth uh, compartment or segment. So this is the second, third and fourth compartment. Pharynx leads into a narrow esophagus. So after pharynx, the next structure is esophagus. Esophagus extends up to eighth segment, beginning of eighth segment. So this is the narrow esophagus. And it goes up to 8th segment. So this is the 8th segment that we are drawing. Now in the 8th and 9th segment, it has reached up to 8th. Now in 8th and 9th segment, there is a highly muscular structure which is called gizzard. So here we will write from 4th up to Eighth segment. It is going to be esophagus and gizzard is going to be in eighth and ninth segment and it is a highly muscular structure. So this structure is highly muscular and it has chitinous lining so that 
the food can be properly crushed here. That means function of gizzard is grinding. So it is going to be helping in grinding of food. And that is why it is highly muscular. Gizzard opens into a narrow stomach. Stomach is a narrow tubular structure. So next is stomach. Stomach starts from the end of ninth segment. So from ninth to fourteenth segment. There is this tubular stomach. So now suppose if we draw this segment. This is the 14th segment. So it started by the end of 9th segment and it goes up to the 14th segment. So <clears throat> let me bring it to 14th segment here. This is the start of 14th segment. From 14th, that means now it is into the 15th segment. So from 15th till the last segment is the elementary canal. And the elementary canal, that means the intestine part. And the intestine is wider than the stomach. So here stomach is tubular. Now the intestine gets wider. So this part is intestine. Let us label this structure as gizzard. Which helps in grinding. And here is tubular stomach. Stomach also secretes. Proteolytic enzymes. That means the enzymes which are going to help in secretion of the, oh sorry, in digestion of proteins. Now this element, this intestine is going to continue up to the last segment. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just make the last segment here. Suppose this is the last segment. It opens in the last segment through this anal opening. So this is the element at uh, the intestine which is coming here and this is anus and this is the last segment where the intestine ends. But we will be drawing some middle part also and that middle part is I'm just leaving it here so that say this is segment number 25 26 and so on. So we want to show a special structure which starts in the 25th, 26th segment. In the 25th segment, the intestine gives rise to a paired tubular structure like this. This structure is going to again continue into this intestine. So these structures are known as intestinal cecae or cecae. And their role is secretion of amylases. Amylases help in digestion of carbohydrates. So there are carbohydrate digesting enzymes as well as protein digesting enzymes which are there. And these are some finger like projections which we see in the 26th segment. There is one more structure which is seen from 26th segment till the end except the last 2023 20, segments. That is called tiflosol. To see the structure of tiflosol, we'll have to take a section of the intestine. Suppose we cut the intestine. And this intestine is cut in 26th segment. So what is visible? There is this wall of intestine. And on the dorsal side, there is a finger-like structure which is hanging. This structure is called tiflosol. And the function is to increase the area for absorption. So from here, absorption of food would stop. So that tiflosol is going to be here. We are drawing the structure as a tube. Unless and until we see a section here, we will not be able to see the tiflosol. So 
This is what is visible from 26th segment. So Tiflosol starts from 26th till last except or we can say till the end except last 20-23 approximately segments. So if there are 100 segments, Tiflosol would start from 26 and it will go till the end, maybe up to 80th segment. So last 20 segments would not have Tiflosol because in the last segment, the undigested food is present here in the form of small circular pallet-like structures which are known as the verb casts or castings and this is a highly nutritive thing for the soil. It is rich in nitrogen and it enhances soil fertility. So in the digestive system there are various parts we have written up to stomach. Let us write after stomach intestine so 15th onwards is intestine till the end and the last part is the rectum and it has the same diameter as that of the rest of the intestine so first structure is mouth it opens into buccal cavity buccal cavity leads into a wider pharynx pharynx has pharyngeal glands and sometimes these pharyngeal glands are also known as salivary glands and they secrete mucin and proteolytic enzyme. Then there is a narrow esophagus, a muscular gizzard, narrow stomach, wider intestine. And in the intestine, in the 26th segment, there are two things. Paired structures which are called intestinal CK function as secretion of amylases, enzymes. And from the 26th segment itself, a fold appears on the dorsal side. It hangs from the dorsal side into the lumen. And it is going to increase the surface area for absorption. This is going to, Tiflosol is going to continue till the end, except the last 20-23 segments. And the last segments would have the last part of intestine, which is called rectum, in which undigested food is stored which are known as in the form of small pallets. They are called worm castings. So digestive system is tubular and it has multiple parts performing different functions. So we say that in uh, earthworms, digestive system is very well developed. Now what do they feed on? Earthworms feed on their food. The food of earthworm, because they are burrowing animals, they normally feed on detritus. Feed on detritus. Detritus means partially decomposed leaves. So they feed on that, digestion takes place, and when the waste is released, it is rich in nitrogen and organic matter also. So it enhances soil quality and the a nutrient value of the soil. Even the texture of the soil gets better. Plus, because they are burrowing, they keep burrowing under the soil, this also helps in proper aeration. And that is why earthworms are called friends of farmers. But when we are talking about the digestive system, it is very well developed, various parts performing different functions. Now in the next part, we will take up another system.